I want to introduce you to one last form element. And it's actually not an input with a type. As we've described before, it's a little bit different. But the idea is still the same. So let's add cars here. And we want this to be a drop down menu, again, something that we see very often in form fields. However, unlike an input tag, we have to do a select tag. It needs a closing select tag as well. And within here, we can put in our options. So the option will be, we'll have a value of Volvo, not Volco. And we'll say Volvo because we want that actually printed to the screen. And again, we have to close that tag. We'll add Audi. And we'll close that tag as well. And we can keep adding them, that, but for now, uh, just two is fine. If I save this and I refresh, we have cars. Let's add a break here just so it looks nicer. There you go. And here, now we have a drop down menu. Let's say you want to extend this or you want to see what kind of properties you can put with select. The way you go about it, as you know, we've done this before. We type in HTML select tag. And actually, Google gives you a nice little info page over here with attributes. So you can see over here, we can use multiple, which is specifies that uh, multiple options can be selected at once. So let's do that. Let's, uh, let's minimize this. Perfect. And within select, we'll put multiple. We refresh, and we can actually select multiple elements. But that doesn't look that pretty, so I'm going to take that out and refresh. I actually realized that we forgot one important input type, so I'm going to throw it in there as a bonus. And as you know, with any registration form, we want a password. So let's add that right after the email. We'll do input type. And yes, there's a password type that we can add. And this password type will have another attribute that's kind of cool, and that is min, which is the, how many, the minimum characters that a password needs. Okay, so let's save that, refresh, and let's add a break here so it looks pretty. Refresh. And now the password field, look at that. It acts like a password field. All right, let's submit this form and see what happens.